All right, we're gonna tap right in. This reading is for my Scorpios. Let's see. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what we have for the Scorpio. All right. All right. So I pulled my oracle cards. You have don't leave me, time to celebrate, the distance is killing me, time to go separate ways, feeling lost, and I miss you. All right, so tell me more about the don't leave me for Scorpios. This is going to be a quick reading, you guys. You have the don't leave me, you're not ready to part ways. You have the five of wands, the five of swords, and you have the hermit. And I'm sorry, you have the fool. And just looking at these cards, I feel... Like y'all got, you guys are playing with fire, trying to keep something around. Um... All these fives is chaotic, but it's like a change needs to take place. And you guys aren't want y'all aren't looking for the change. I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling like you're falling. Um, like you guys could be under a rock right now because of this situation. Um, I feel like somebody, <laughs> whatever the change is, either there's somebody in the background who is feeling free and being happy while you're here, um, confused, trying to figure out things, um, I don't know. I feel like some headaches are coming in as well. These could be headaches from overthinking, from sadness, um, from chaos. Um, I also feel like this person could be you. Like you're, this could be spirit trying to get your attention to allow you to know that this separation could actually be your release and your freedom, okay? And put you back on top. Okay, they're trying to get you grounded, give you some kind of stability. Let me see. Can I get a card of clarity for the don't leave me for Scorpio? Yeah, you definitely have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Wands, and the Chariot. You guys are definitely. Fighting, fighting a situation. You're being rebellious right now. You're being rebellious and you're not allowing this situation to come to an end. You're trying to hold on to it for some reason, okay? And it's just like you need to let it go um, because this could potentially allow you to, with the suitcase, I'm feeling like maybe you should be moving or you should be welcoming in something new, Scorpio. Okay. All right. So tell me more about the Scorpio time to celebrate. Okay. Yeah. The time to celebrate a joyous occasion or event will take place soon. You have the queen of swords, the eight of pentacles and the ace of cups. Honestly, feel like this is you learning how to defend yourself with the Queen of Swords, okay? It's like you're learning how to defend yourself. Um, I don't know. I just get the vibe of you being alone and working, working, working on yourself, working on loving yourself with the Ace of Cups is what I'm truly feeling. Um, this lady has plants and candles, so 
I feel like you could be doing a lot of self-love spells at this time. Um, some clarity spells as well. I feel like you're just working on nurturing yourself, nurturing your gifts and talents. Um, and that's what you're going to be celebrating. You're celebrating um, celebrating yourself, okay? So, Scorpio, it's not like your birthday celebration, but this is a celebration of finding yourself, finding your love, finding your happiness, finding your truth. Um, you can also be celebrating connecting with loved ones as well, all right? So we have the distance is killing me. Tell me more about the distance is killing me for Scorpio. It says absence truly makes the heart grow fonder. Oh my gosh, my cards are going everywhere, you guys. I just don't know how to shuffle. <laughs> Tell me more about the distance is killing me. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Six of Cups. You guys could be missing someone who is not here at this moment. Somebody that kind of guided you. Someone who kind of guided you and completed you. Um, like this person brought you joy and right now you're feeling a, a little sadness about this about this person um you're wishing that you could talk to them you're wishing they were there to help you through some kind of situation it's just like all my cars just want to keep coming out give me clarity give me clarity please for the six of cups the teraphant and the nine of pentacles I feel like some of you guys are needing to do some kind of spell work to connect with some kind of family um, to get answers, how to stabilize the home. I also have a magician at the bottom of the deck. So it's just like you need to be working with your guides and your ancestors at this time um, to help you get to where you need to or get the answers that you need as well. All right. So we have time to go separate ways. It's a term a temporary or a permanent break is necessary for those souls to grow. Tell me more about Scorpio. Time to go separate ways. All right. With the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's going to take a lot for you guys to release this person. I feel like you're really, really attached to this person. Um, I don't know if there was a love spell involved in this at all. But I feel like this person has mind control over you. <laughs> this situation has mind control over you and it's time for you to separate it. It has some kind of control that keeps you bound all right so you have the four of wands and the ace of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse uh i feel like you were wanting forever with this person you was probably offering them a lot um with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this person was receiving what you had, but I also feel like they were focused elsewhere. They weren't focused on this relationship. Yeah. This person wasn't focused on this relationship. They weren't focused as focused on you as you were. They were receiving everything that you were giving, but it wasn't for them.
there's some kind of third party that's coming in. Um, this person is focused on everything that they want. No third party. I'm sorry. This person is focused on everything that they want. And I feel like your offering to them was not a focus of them. And now with the King of Cups and the Death card in reverse, I feel like you could be feeling like you're at a standstill. I feel like you feel like you're all out of emotions. Like you have nothing else to offer. You're, you're feeling weak and you're feeling unhappy and incomplete as well. Yeah, the connection is no longer there. A lot of you guys are confused. I feel like a lot of you guys are going back into the are going back to being cold hearted with these cards. Okay, you're seeking answers as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Funny because you have the feeling lost, confused, and unsure what to do. Tell me about the feeling lost. For Scorpio. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, the Star, and the Three of Cups. I just feel like you guys feel like you lost a lot. Um, like you couldn't keep up with something, with someone. You couldn't gain control of a situation. I'm feeling like you've lost the light inside of you as well. You feel like you lost the, the star of your eye. This person could have been a friend, a relationship. Seems like y'all were really connected. I feel like you guys shared a lot of energy. Y'all did a lot of things together. With the stars, I feel like this person was the star of your eye. Um, you treated this person like a star. You have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. I just feel like... Um, The Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Strength card. I'm just really feeling you guys have no more to give to this person. I feel like they drained you out. There's no more emotions. Okay? Like I said, the strength. I feel like you're trying to find the strength to move forward or to move on. You're feeling cold harder. You're feeling left in the cold. Then you have the I miss you. No communication, no contact. What is I miss you for Scorpio? With this judgment card, I'm, I already feel like you're missing the old you. So you do have the the judgment card, the knight of wands, and you have the justice in reverse. Like I said, I feel like you guys are missing the old you. You're missing the fun, energetic, walking to your beat, walking to the own beat of your drum, the excitement, the freedom that you had to be you. I feel like somewhere along the way, you feel like you lost yourself. Um, it's like you're searching your soul is trying to trying to get back to you, but it's just like this is in the way right here. This um sword with the justice card. It's like your soul is trying to come back to you. Uh the memories of the old you, the acts of the old you are trying to come back to rebalance you. Okay. I'm just getting the vibe that it's a lot of self in this I miss you. Like you're missing yourself. Your self misses you. Your self misses how you were so happy and free. I don't know. It's just like you haven't been there in a while. You haven't been your true self. Um, it's like you're trying to grab a hold of yourself as well.
Yeah. You, de you guys definitely have to find your old self. I have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. And the six of pentacles, the six of cups. I think you need to go out and find you. You guys need to go out and gift yourself, love on yourself, treat yourself, okay? Do things that you enjoy doing for you. Fulfill your own needs, okay? And that's what I have for you, Scorpio, today. <laughs>